Cancer, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries. Tarot, welcome guys. My name is Michelle. This is an energy reading for a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Cancerian energy. So whether or not you know you have strong Cancer placements, you have been drawn to this message and it found you at just the right time. There is something in here that you need to hear. And this is where your message begins. wants you to focus cancer he wants you to focus on one thing and that is seeing the beauty of right now of this moment and it's not just to ease your pain it's also to clear out your karma and your energy and focusing on the present moment is how you teach the universe or tell the universe this is where you deliver my blessings. You've probably been feeling, I have blessings. Why aren't they coming in? Because you're too far in the past or too far in the future and they don't know where to be delivered. If you focus on the future, if you focus, I'm sorry, if you focus on the present moment, focus on now, you are telling the universe, this is where I am. This is where you deliver that energy to me. There is beauty in this moment. Be here now. Now, be in this present time and I don't know if but you I don't know about you guys but 34 adds up to seven I've been seeing seven 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 everywhere so it's saying be here now you are currently in that magic space the sense of magic is happening all around you be in this present moment be here now Cancerians as I divide the deck Whatever card comes out, I'm just going to leave it where it lay. If you have not yet, please remember to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that notification bell, all notifications, because all notifications will notify you when I go live so you can participate in the free live chat tarot card readings I do on this channel. If you, if you are looking for a personal reading, I do provide those as well as astrology chart, sinistry chart analysis. So please go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book and schedule your appointment when it's right for you. You will have your message within 24 hours of that booking. So it's a, it's a really quick turnaround for those of you who need to know quickly. Um, okay, Cancerians, we're almost done. One more. Okay. Good. Cancer. Mm, this is you. Magic works through you. You're the magic. You're creating something right now that you want. And I'm telling you this right now. God is saying, you have seven, seven. This is five, two. What did I just tell you? That I've been seeing seven, seven, seven. I am a Cancerian. Um, I've been seeing seven, seven, seven everywhere. We have five plus two adds up to seven. Three plus four adds up to seven. This is seven, seven. You have been working on something 
you have been using your magic to convey something or bring something into re the real space. Be here now, be in the present moment. God wants to deliver that to you. Focus all your magical power on the present moment. You are going to see that arrive. It's something be very beautiful coming out right now. In the future, we have eight. So we have seven, seven, eight which means moving forward into abundance, not too far into the future, or it's saying you could set this up to really be something that is extraordinarily abundant that's about to happen. Slow and steady wins the race, this sense of um, abundance that lasts. Uh, this, is, this is your energy as well, a sense of maturing, a maturity that you're going through, taking your home. Or, this is an energy where you're not needing home to feel secure because you know you are your own home. And like a turtle with their shell, you take that home wherever you go. And this is about riding that current and feeling really good about the energy and this beautiful flow. So there's this beautiful energy of feeling really secure and really sure about yourself and over this week leveling up it's also saying that you're about to ride a wave of abundance after this current moment this wave of abundance that will be slow and steady and sure something that you can be certain of even though it's not earth energy it's emotional it's psychic it's connectivity it's, it's this beautiful energy of riding that wave of things start to be easier and steadier so Let's get into the week ahead seven day play by play so I can show you how all this is unfolding and what is it that's actually unfolding. I'm doing seventh day right now. How does this, how does this week end? How does this week play out? How, won't even show me. How does this week play out? Okay. doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Something way out, way, 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 way out. Okay, we'll figure it out when we come to it. What about day one? What is this that, that's cancers? I mean, it could be so different from all of you, right? What is it that Cancerians are working on and how is this playing out, please? Day one the lovers. So it's some sort of connectivity between you and somebody that you're really attracted to. Could even be an attraction to a situation, something that is destined and that you cannot resist. Certainly somebody that is extraordinarily attractive to the you. This could be specifically Leo Sagittarius Aries or simply somebody who's extraordinarily creative, very powerful. They have leadership connectivity and and um, authority, like a lot of conviction over what they, they love, what they do. The king of wands is somebody who loves what they do. They would never think of doing anything outside of what they absolutely adore. And they're seen as very good at it. There's a lot of passion there. Um, it could even be you, a part of you starting to take passion, starting to know your passion, starting to know what you're destined for, right? St starting to understand it. And then we have the Hierophant here. So this is solidifying what you're good at, what you're passionate about, who you're passionate about. Could literally be attraction to a fire sign energy, marriage, and being able to feel finally secure or certain or go more of a traditional route something that lasts, something that's built to last, something that's steady and certain. And this is all with somebody of great conviction. They're, they're a fire sign. They're, or they present like a fire sign. They um, kind of like are a peacock. They're, they're proud of themselves, not in a pompous way. The king would just have earned his, his sense, his or her sense of personal authority. So there is this sense of they're also solid, though. Um, there's a certainty here. There's a certain energy about your passion. So this is a beautiful breakthrough, even just day one. What about day two? 
Day two is slow and steady wins the race. Go slow, go easy with this. You don't have to rush is what this card is saying. And then look at this. It's, it's also something that's taken time to reach you, but you're going to be happy that it does. This is public recognition. This is a victory. This is some sort of good news. People celebrating you, a party that you're going to, or something that you will celebrate. That is day two. Something took a while to get to you and or the universe says don't push it because it is coming. And that's why you got to focus where? Here and now. By day two, it could arrive. So... Okay, what about day three? What about day three? <clears throat> uh, we have an offer of love or an offer that's on the table that you, you need to see. It's almost like something is still under consideration something is still under consideration maybe you're not ready to look at something or see it but certainly you have options i think you have options and that you're going to have to start weighing your value systems and seeing what is worth more what should i invest my time or energy into so this is really beautiful you could have more than one person celebrating you or wanting you in some ways and that's good and it's saying take this third day to sit with yourself to not rush in to look at the value you have in your life right now and really weigh the pros and cons and make your decision based on what you know is the best choice, right? And consider all choices. We have a celebration on day four, uh, being surrounded by people that you really like and really care about. Maybe a lot of friends are around you or simply there is something to celebrate on day four. Um, People are really enthusiastic about you. They're really kind of happy that you're here, happy that you're around. And there's a sense of people who believe in you, who think you're valuable, who stick up for you or will push through. Maybe um, we have Piscean energy, push through a lot of confusion or push through a lot of dreams or delusions or illusions or even just push through the, the unknown, pushing through the unknown, having that conviction. And that conviction is also surprises that could happen. Are there surprises that could happen? What are you're going to be surprised what happens on day four? So what is it? Two of cups. Connectivity and offer a certainty, assuredness. Yeah. You're going to be surprised. You're not even going to know what's going to happen. You're not even going to know it's going to happen. But there's something real special happening on that day. What about day five for cancer? It's almost like you, it's almost like you didn't even know somebody appreciated you as much as this. And then that's what they show you. They do. Day five. Yeah, there's clarity and there's almost like, well, now I have all the information. Now I'm, I'm deciding how to move forward. I'm looking at my direction forward. I'm seeing it clearly. I'm making plans. This is logistics. She comes out when she's like GPS system, change of direction, but not in a bad way, in a sense of certainty. Now I'm certain. Now I have all the facts and now I can lay out my plans and which direction I want to head in. This is really beautiful energy. Because it seems like whatever happened on day four has made you sure and certain about the direction that you want to go. And there's a more confusion about it if there was. So what about day six? What about day six? Serendipity, serendipitous fortune. Um, a bunch of fortune that just comes through. A sense of, oh, holy shit. Did it really just work out like that? Did, did everything that I've been stressing about actually just fucking work out? 100%. Abundance. Maybe there's money that's coming in. Maybe there's value. Maybe there's pregnancy. Because, But this is almost like your the good things in your life have multiplied themselves. It's better than expected. 
and this is yeah take a leap of faith have have, be sure of yourself take a leap of faith have conviction in your own independence and in your own certainty being free to make your own choices feeling like you're free to make your own choices and head in the direction that you've decided taking over your own life or once again there's this fire sign that comes up the sense of take a leap of faith in the presence of this person in the attraction to this person there is this energy of real certainty about this moment on day six, which day seven I have to get into, but um, there's a real certainty about where you're headed and a real allowance of, I feel comfortable being excited about this. Like I'm not talking to myself like, oh, don't be excited about this or don't make too much of this. No, this is, this is, this is something that you should be very happy about. It makes sense. Let's get some moon cards here because we still are under the effect of the powerful super moon. So for cancer, what's the moon want to tell cancer? Luck is on your side this week. Aim your shot, shoot your shot, take your chance because this is, this is more than your emotions. This is your psyche, your psychic ability. Get ready for your life to expand. This is Sagittarius energy. This sense of, yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to be active in it. There's a lot of action here with the fire energy. There's a sense of be active, but you're going to like where your actions take you. And it's it's very much like, look, be in this present moment. And that's going to that's gonna give you the conviction and clear up your mind so that you can aim at things that are absolutely yours. There is something like so certain here. It's almost like this is where the arrow lands. This is almost like that's maybe what it is. Cancerians, you never see things based on time. So it's almost like you you might have put this arrow out a while ago and this is when it lands. This is when you experience the luck that you've been feeling coming in for you or you've been chasing because you knew it was there. Be here now is where the arrow lands. Let's go to the extended to get that uh, seventh day. But before we do, I just want to make sure what is this all about? <laughs> Truth be told, something to do with owl and certainty and the truth of the future and clarity about a uh, universal truth is about to be revealed to you. And, and what is that universal truth, please? Regeneration about your new life, a rebirth of your, of your life. Four plus six equals ten. So there is a fulfillment of a life cycle. Truth be told, um... It's like now you're realizing it. Now you're recognizing it. Everything is coming out about why you had to experience what you experienced, what you were experiencing, like why it all happened the way that it did, because it was leading up to this beautiful moment of um, leveling up or new life. You know, that's, that's what's been happening. I want to pick an angel card for you guys. And the link below, the link to the extended reading, come and join me for that, is down below. It's in the description box. I've pinned it to the top of the comment section as well. Uh, or you can just visit me on my uh, Vimeo channel, Born Without Boundaries Tarot, over on Vimeo. And can find my latest Cancerian video there. Uh, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. And then we have answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So you're coming into yourself. You're leveling up. That's why we got that beautiful tortoise energy, which is highly evolved Cancerian energy. This sense of now you feel authority over your own life, personal conviction, and absolute certainty about your destiny and your next choice, next steps. So let's get to day seven in the extended I will see you guys there.